All right, in this video, I wanted to show you a nice piece of software that gives you a visual representation of your information. So if we go ahead and open WinDurstat, I'll put a link in the description below, and we take a look. So it gives you three options at the beginning. You can scan all local hard drives, one hard drive in particular, or a folder in particular. So let's go ahead and scan one folder in particular. So if I open up one folder, and we're going to open up my data folder since that's where I keep most of my valuable data and we open that up and we say OK it will load for a time to analyze that information we can see Pat <coughs> we can see Pac-Man here going along and that's good so once Pac-Man's done we get to see all of our data so right here these are mp3s it's all color coded so the red here indicates it's an mp3 folder or file so that one I've selected is by Eisbrechen and it's Ein Tausend Flammen now if we were to look at one of these larger folders here or files this is a untitled 4 AVI file so it's a raw video audio file now these green ones here I believe are ISOs yes they're ISOs so this one is a video that's which I burned onto a DVD and copied onto my computer and this one here is a Linux distribution of Kubuntu 12.04.2 and it's designed for a 64-bit computer so that would be something I would burn onto a DVD and install onto a computer and so on and so forth. So that's really all my data. So the green is ISOs, the blue is AVIs. It, it really depends upon the number of files you have on your computer and how much space they take up. The color will change due to the quantity and the size of those files. So if you had MP3s, it's not necessarily the case that they'll be red. They could be blue, they could be yellow, they could be green. So you'll need to hover over them, select them, and determine what they are. Now, if you were to, you know, say, oh, this is a large file, I, I really don't want this one anymore, you can just right click it and say explore here. And I believe that was uh, untitled 15. So I just go ahead and select that and I say delete. And that's in my wastebasket now. So I just go over here and I close my explorer and I say refresh. Pac-Man's working again. He's just, you know, determining what went wrong or what's changed or whatever the case may be. And once Pac-Man's done his work, we can see that we no longer have that massive untitled 15. We just have untitled 14 now. So most of our space has been freed up. And these pink ones here are my videos that I record for my YouTube channel. So this one's a WMV for Samsung LED and yeah so lots of you know my videos that I've made over the years and the green ones here are still ISOs these ones are still the AVIs and the red ones are still my MP3s now as I said that could vary for you but we'll see so thanks for watching and I hope you found this video useful and informative it's a great piece of software so feel free to check it out it's free it's great and I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching.